Hey Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for all the love you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. As a quick disclaimer, this video is made for educational purposes and is not meant to provide any kind of professional diagnosis for antisocial personality disorder. Please seek help from a mental health professional if you think you or someone else could be suffering from this disorder. With that being said, let's begin. Antisocial personality disorder is a mental disorder in which a person shows no regard for right and wrong and tends to antagonize, manipulate, or threat others harshly. They can be charming at first, but have a widespread disregard for others and show little remorse for their behavior. So, here are eight signs of antisocial personality disorder. One, they misunderstand social interactions. People with antisocial personality disorder have a skewed social compass. They process social interactions and your social signals differently. They might misinterpret things that are said. For example, they hear insults or mockery when there is none, which brings us to the next point. Two, they're prone to hostility. When someone has antisocial personality disorder, they often feel that others have wronged them, even when no one actually has. They will read between the lines when they interact with you and hear something completely different than what you actually said. They might be distressed and on edge, causing them to lash out with hostility and anger. In extreme cases, they might even seek revenge for the perceived wrongs against them, whether the insult is real or imagined. Three, they can be very manipulative. People with antisocial personality disorder can repel against others. Others might struggle to communicate and connect with them. And to make things worse, people with this personality disorder are also prone to misreading others' signals, which can cause a lot of misunderstandings in the relationship. To overcome this, they become skilled at charm and manipulation. For example, they manipulate you into spending time with them, or they may exploit you and con you to get what they want, even if it's just for their own personal gratification. Four, they have a tendency to lie. Along with manipulation comes a tendency to lie, and their lies are often used to blame others. Lying is a tool they can use for personal gain. To someone with antisocial personality disorder, the survival of a relationship is vital, as long as it continues to serve their needs or desires. And deceit is just one of the tactics they use to achieve that. 5. They are very impulsive. Impulsivity is a common factor in the makeup of antisocial personality disorder. They act on less reservation, like there is nothing to hold them back. They have very little regard for the consequences of their actions and disregard their own safety or the safety of others. Their extreme impulsivity often ends in dire consequences, such as being hospitalized or serving jail time. Six, they indulge in repeated risky behavior. Their impulsive nature leads them to make snap decisions, which might not turn out well for them. For example, they might get involved in criminal activity, such as theft or arson. They might have problems with drug and alcohol use. Their disregard for right and wrong and low moral standards leads them to make bad, risky decisions, often for little reward. Seven, they have little remorse for their behaviors and actions. Someone who has antisocial personality disorder will do whatever they can to achieve what they want, even when their behavior and actions can hurt people. They have very little to no remorse for hurting, offending, or inconveniencing others. They do what they want for their own gain and lack empathy for others. Eight, they blame others. They also have a habit of putting the blame off on other people. Because they struggle to take responsibility for their own harmful behavior, they may rationalize their actions by blaming those they hurt. They might think the other person deserved it or have a mindset of, that's just the way life is. They refuse to see the repercussions of their actions and put the blame on others instead. Do you think you or someone you know could have antisocial personality disorder? If so, we encourage you to seek help from a mental health professional. If you find this video insightful, go ahead and like and share this video to someone who might be able to benefit too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.